Hey there. Here's the next show of the of uh, Songwriters Daily, and today I want to speak about of the five foundations. It is lyrics, lyrics, not lyrical storytelling, but just lyrics. And uh, okay, sorry, a bit distracted there. Um, Okay, so I want to speak in that category of lyrics about rhyming. I've spoken about rhyming and I'll speak lots about rhyming because there's all little subtleties within rhyming. You know, you don't just say rhyming and we all go, oh, I know rhyming, yeah. There's just little subtleties to talk about within rhyming. So today I want to really make certain in your mind that whatever rhyming scheme <clears throat> scheme you get for ver <clears throat> for verse number one for your first verse make sure you absolutely make the following verses the same rhyming scheme okay that's the big lesson of today it's imperative to make the the next verses if you've only got one more, two more, or you're doing one of those uh, Dylan type, you know, the, the Dylan forms, as I call it, uh, where you might have eight verses. Either way, all the verses in the song have to follow the same rhyming pattern as your first verse. Okay, so it's so important. L the listener, your audience, will expect that. They really do. And they're thrown if it doesn't happen. It throws them off and then they're not concentrating, just subtly, they're not concentrating on your song anymore. They're missing the melody, they're missing your story, they're missing the moments in your song because they're distracted. And they might not even know they are, but they are, because you threw them off with what was not expected. So that's why it's so important. So again, the only time you would break that, that song craft there is intentionally because you know the rule you stick to the rule but then you decide to break that rule because you want to do exactly that you want to throw the listener off on purpose to get them to feel a part of the story or 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 to you know fall into a section of the song musically that you want them to okay that would be the only reason you're going to do it okay so as a quick example if you had a four line verse, verse number one, and you rhymed line one with line two, and then line three with line four. So uh, line one and two don't rhyme with line three and four. You, you see what I'm saying? So if that's the pattern, call it uh, XX square square, if you know what I mean. So line one and two rhyme, line three and four rhyme. Then in verse two, you're going to do exactly the same. You're going to make line one and line two rhyme together of verse two, and line three and line four rhyme together of verse two, just like it did in verse one. Okay, that's the big one. It's a, it's really important. Okay, let me ha know how you're doing, and um, get in touch with me with any questions, and I'll do my absolute best if they come in those five foundations to answer them. And, uh, you know, any way I can help you get yourself moving, uh, meaning songwriting, um, uh, re you know, get, getting ready for recording, getting ready for, your, for live, making sure your songs are all tight and dried up, okay? I'll do my best to do that. Get in, uh, so, yeah, get in touch with me anytime you feel like it there. And uh, keep on, keep on, keep, in, keep on writing, keep on doing it. Okay, I'll see you on Friday, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.